Welcome MRC members. I trust you've enjoyed our tips to getting ready for the Mornington race. Today we're at Zume Salon with Lorna Evans. Lorna's a well-renowned hairdresser both on the peninsula and nationally and also internationally. Let's come inside and take a look and, and have a listen to how Lorna can help you make your hair look just like you've stepped out of a salon for the day. Lorna, thank you so much for having us into the salon. We'd love to learn some tips and tricks of the trade of how to get our hair looking fabulous for the Mornington races, which is coming up on the 13th of Feb, which I'm sure you're well, well aware of. Yep. Is it okay if you share with us some of your tips and tricks and that sort of thing today? Yeah, sure. Fabulous. If we can, before we get started, I know Zume and yourself are very progressive within the hair industry. Is it okay if you share with our viewers a little bit of what zume has been up to over the last few months? Yeah, look, um, I think with, with Zume, what, what really drives us is, is beautiful hair. And I think the biggest difference is that we get outside our four walls. You know, that's the absolute hot tip to it all, is we, um, we spend a lot of time up at uh, Fashion Week and Fashion Festival, which is always in Sydney. And I'm very honoured to be a hair director up there. So we, we can bring fashion straight back to the salons. Today, that's been my job, is making sure that we've got the dates in place that we can actually share and bring back everything on big screens and so forth to our team of you know what's what's hot and colour, what's hot yeah. and cutting, and of course my love, which is which is styling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is it is just getting outside your four walls and, and not we just don't see it as, as a job as much as it's hard work. Yeah. Um, it's not just a job; it's actually a career. That's fantastic, Lorna. And I noticed behind us here, we've got the video of what the latest looks are. So, Lorna, if it's okay with you, do you mind just sharing us what you see the hair fashion to be for the Mornington races? Yeah, look, I, I think when it comes to race wear, there's no doubt about it, it's, it's, it's probably a lot more relaxed. You know, it's a lot more relaxed hair, but it doesn't mean to say it's undone. And I think that's a mistake whenever I watch them on the, uh, you know, fashions on the field, is you can have these amazing outfits and they've spent a lot of money, but they've done absolutely no prep yes. on their hair whatsoever. Yes. You know, you don't have to go to the extent of being at the hairdressing salon at, you know, six in the morning, but you do need to make sure that you've prepped it properly. If you're going to do something yourself, you know, talk to your stylist, make sure that you are using, you know, the beautiful shampoos and conditioners. You know, a lot of people think, oh, it's just, you know, the hairdresser that feels great when I've been lying at that basin. Mm -hmm. But to be perfectly honest, it's actually what the girls are putting on. You know, there's hundreds of dollars of um, different products to choose from you know we just need to find that one that will make your hair be a lot easier for you to actually style you know if you are styling it yourself and and if you really are serious about fashions on the field get in and have a killer blow dry you know have something that's you know um, makes is going to make the hair feel feel amazing Lorna you just mentioned some killer blow wave it sounds a little bit scary but also knowing zoom it would be very exciting can you explain a little bit more about what you mean and when would be the ideal time for us to book in for that of course um, when I say a killer blow dry, a killer blow dry is get. I can, you know what? I can't even do a killer blow dry on my own because it's about getting the strength in. If you've got a, a great stylist that makes sure that you know it's prepped with the right products first, and they can get the strength in with a natural blow dryer, you know. Don't get stuck on just drying it off and doing it with straightening iron. Mm -hmm. A killer blow dryer is not the lazy one. It's back to the good old basics, yes. and the good old basics really is a good strong blow dry yeah. with um, with a good quality blow dryer, good quality products in there, and it lasts. You know. And when would be? How many days before the actual yeah. event could we book in for that? <laughs> There's very noisy people in my salon. <laughs> very noisy. <laughs> um, if uh, basically I would prefer to the on the day okay. for the simple reason that a blow dry you know when you go to lay on it mm -hmm. but if you have to we always suggest a silk pillow case yeah. so you can do the, the night before or in the morning we're always open early in the morning got um, cup day and all the all the Flemington days the salon is rocking from six o'clock in the morning Beautiful. so which which is great yeah. so particularly if you're having a blow dry and you know a lot of the times it doesn't stop at a blow dry you know obviously we then go to you know doing some beautiful shinyongs and some beautiful buns and you know there's a lot of braiding that's in at the moment mm -hmm. um, that can be sort of really quite nice and loo loose off, but yeah. they have to match the hat, and that's where you know working with the milliners yes. and and also with everybody's face shape because yes. there's not much point in having the most beautiful hair yes. if it actually doesn't suit the client. It's suitability to the to the client's yes. face shape, and it can take years off, and it can take kilos off. Yes. 
That's really interesting. And I noticed Zume has something unique that I've never seen in any other salon before. And I think you mentioned um, before the interview, actually, that we, you have a lookbook yeah. that has face shapes and things like that in it. So is that a tool that you, you and your stylist would actually use in creating the perfect look for the face? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we have a lookbook, and the lookbook's a manual. Mm-hmm. We're, we're at the, in the process at the moment. There is, we're, we're also, we have iPads. So we have sections on our iPad, um, which is our lookbook, uh, with, with different looks of blondes and so forth. Yep. But in our in our lookbooks, um, yep, yeah, sure. Yeah. So it, each girl, you can see that this is Madeline's lookbook, mm-hmm. for instance. So each girl, each um, stylist actually has their own individual lookbooks yep. because, to be perfectly honest, it's their styles. Okay. So what happens is, you know, you are your clientele. You tend to attract the client tone of clientele that you know you love doing their hair so you'll see that each girl has different some might have more classical work in it some might more have you know a lot more um, avant-garde and a little bit more trendy um, work but every single one of them no matter what their what their looks are that they love will always have this in their front page so what this is it's a face shape exercise and it's come from the trade school manual so it's I'm a really big believer in back to basics you can break the rules but first of all you've got to know your rules so uh, if we, the little exercise that, that we can do in the salon is if you measure from the edge of your hairline to the middle of your uh, edge of the hairline to the middle of your eyebrow, and then the middle of the eyebrow to the tip of the nose, and then the tip of the nose to the tip of the chin. If there's more than 1.25 centimetres of difference, and the wording is in the trade school manuals that there is something not in harmony. Right. Okay. Right. So if it's not in harmony, it means that they are not an oval, and all an oval shape means. It doesn't mean to say that it's a perfect. It just means that it's everything is in balance. So the great thing about it is if we've worked out that, okay, there is more than 1.25 centimetres, we can go, okay, so we know that you're not an oval. And then you can generally, between yourself and the stylist, work it out together on which face shape you actually are. And it's brilliant because over here you've got a line of the do's and then you've got a line of the don'ts. So, for instance, a round face shape, you would add height to the crown. So Mm -hmm. great if you're styling, you know, adding height to the crown, especially if somebody's wearing a, you know, fascinator off to one side, you might go, okay, we need to add the height here and so forth. And one of the other do's is add width below the jawline or above the temple and create angular shapes. So I'm not going to create something that's just around yes. you know we're going to make sure that it is over to the side and we might bring the fascinator yeah. so it's great and it also means that when we're, yeah. when we're placing colour because it also has a lot to do with colour placement mm-hmm. you know having darker and lighter is, is, is quite incredible yeah. what, what the difference can do you know you don't always have to be a, a solid colour yeah. you might want a solid colour effect but you can still gradually go from you know even three colours going gradually makes a huge difference so this is a brilliant one to, to work with not just for the races but for for um, for an everyday style it's brilliant fantastic Lorna and for those that are possibly unable to get into the salon on the day or of the week of have you got any tips to actually styling your hair at home maybe they should come into the salon and have a consultation and then be able to reproduce something at home is there a tip that that enables us to do that for those of us that can't get in yeah well what I would suggest is come into the salon and one of the things that we offer is that it definitely comes down to product. I'm, and I know that people go, oh, that's just the sales thing. It's not. I always say to my guys, you know, if I come into your bathroom and I took away all your styling products and I took all your shampoo and conditioner out and I replaced it with a generic brand from the supermarket and I took away all your styling products and put in there, you know, a little mousse from the supermarket and a little hairbrush, um, you can see them just go white. You know, the, the, the colour just drains from them. So it's exactly the same So for them as it is for the clients. So one of the things that we offer is have your hair done in the salon and then get the hairdresser to show you how much is going in your hair but get them to actually get you to actually do a section you blow dry a section get them to actually show you how to use it you know there's a great product out at the moment which is called the steam pod Mm -hmm. and when we go to hair expo every year I always like to bring home a toy because we all like a new toy and this year it was the steam pod and the steam pod think of if you think of a straightening iron but it's actually steaming at the same time it's from L'Oreal Professional which Mm -hmm. we've actually never been a L'Oreal had anything in my salon of L'Oreal Professional but they're the only people on the market that have this and so it's they call it the guilt-free straightener Mm -hmm. and 
you know, I straighten every day, but because I'm now straightening with something that's actually treating my hair, yes. and I've actually gone lighter, yes. my hair's actually in better condition going lighter, and then, you know, treating with this, with the steam pod. So you can use a steam pod at home. So there's a steam, there's a home steam pod, yep. so the girls can show you yeah. how, to, how to use that, and the finish is just... Oh, there is, it's just like glass. Yeah. So. And Lorna, you mentioned earlier that the ponytail is quite um, a hot look for the runway or for lots of fashion events at the moment. Is there a tip to creating the perfect ponytail at home that makes it look like the salon's done the job? Yeah. Well, the, the, to get the perfect ponytail, you have to start with a killer blow dry. So have your hair blow dried the day before. If you're not brilliant, you know, some girls are fabulous at blow drying. Yeah. If you're not, do yourself a favour, come in, have a blow dry. When you do go in to put that ponytail in place, whenever you see a beautiful ponytail, the base of it is beautiful. So, you know, make sure that all those little hairline pieces, and if you've had a blow dry, they'll all be nice and clean and going in the direction they need to. You know, making sure that you can actually use a product called, this product called Glass, which is in the Redken. So it, it will just give the hair that beautiful sheen, but stop when you get to the base of the nape. So in other words, don't pop it onto the tail of the ponytail. Leave the ponytail with a beautiful natural finish and make sure that you do wrap a little bit of hair around it. Okay. You know, don't leave the don't leave the hair, I can't stand that, leave, leave that hair tie, you know, you've got this beautiful outfit and they've just wrapped a hair tie around it. You know, use a really, really fine band. Can you just show us, yeah. Lorna, maybe in your hair, how thick a band you would have for around the ponytail? So, well, maybe if I, if I, oh, yeah, if, I, if, I if I grab a piece of your hair, that's yeah. all right. So to make a little band with your own hair, mm -hmm. less is more. So actually only start with about a strand of about that. Okay. And a lot of people think because they see it and yeah. it's wrapped around, it's that thick, they'll start this thick. Oh, okay. but Obviously, if you're starting with it as about that thick, by the time it goes around and around, you'll actually get... So it's just just so that it's just there and, and no more, So which is really nice. But, you know, the ponytail is beautiful, and it's beautiful to go through then and even, you know, add a little bit of a bounce to it, you know, add a bit of curl to it, you know, or, um, you know, plait it the night before is another little mm -hmm. hot tip. If you plait it the night before and, and take it out the next day, you yeah. can, you know, you can get the volume, a bit okay. more volume to it. That's fabulous, Lorna. And Lorna, I know you'll, um, the Mornington Race Day is, a, is an event that you often attend and you work with a lot of the celebrities on the day. Uh, are you going to do anything different with your hair or have you got something that you're, someone that you're working with that you're going to create a new look for? Uh, look, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably one of those that are a little bit boring when it comes to what I do with my own hair on the day. I'm too busy doing everybody else. <laughs> Very professional. <laughs> yeah, true professional. We're the last to get it done. Uh, a couple of our girls are at, last year. We had um, actually Victoria and um, and Shauna at the, at the races. They did, and their hair was amazing. And what they did was uh, Victoria actually had hers. She placed it into two ponytails, yes. and then she put it into fine hair nets, and actually made her hair into wow. a ha into a hatinator, and had the had a you know had a beautiful fl floral. Yeah. Um, a piece coming off that was amazing, and Shauna had finger waves. You know, don't forget. So they're the things that you, you know. For instance, this is this is a shoot that we did last year, mm -hmm. and you know, Shauna did beautiful finger waves. That's something that you're yeah. not going to get at home yourself. It's no. going to be very difficult. You know, so if you want yours to stand out, and if you saw a photo of them down there, they stood out and they looked amazing. Yeah. And the difference, you know. With, it's just finished. It's, yeah. it, they, they just looked polished. Yes. Polished. Yeah. Yeah. And anybody that's ever came to us with um, winning fashions on the field, and we've worked a lot with um, Flemington and, mm -hmm. and so forth, they, they're at the salon. Yeah. You know, they're at the salon. They're having their hair done. Yeah. So. so there you have it, MRC members, all the tips and tricks from the fabulous Lorna Evans on how to create the perfect hair for the Mornington races and also for other race meetings that you may be attending. My hot tip is, if you're going to spend all that time and money in creating the perfect outfit and the shoes up until the handbag and the makeup, please don't forget your hair. As Lorna said, it's just as important and it's obvious if you haven't gone to the full length to prepare your hair on the day. Stylish to yours, Becky.